starting, you know, really fully into recovery. Only then can you look back and say, okay, what was my role in this? How did this happen? What were my feelings? What were the other person's feelings? What role did I play? What activities? What could I have done? What would I do differently? You begin to have a more objective view of that relationship. And sometimes you'll see things that you, you know that you did wrong. Sometimes you'll see characteristics of yourself or your partner that in the long term it was never going to work. So there's all sorts of things. Each relationship is very different. But, but the, the coming together, that the fact that you were so attracted to each other to actually end up and to be married and for 13 years and to have children, there's a lot of bonding going on there there was a lot that you two shared at some point it no longer worked and so uncovering that it's an analysis step in my in my uh, five e's to recover I, I call that an explore step so we we explore what happened and then we try to ex extract the extrapolate the lessons from that so I think people only do this if it's a conscious process most people just bounce along and get ready for their next relationship. But if you take the time to do the introspection and the analysis, the lessons are there, there, there. Getting them, there's, there's people that can help you find those lessons. But I think there's an awareness that first has to come as the first step and then a commitment to actually look into it because sometimes it's difficult. And you'll begin to see there's things that, boy, you really could have done things differently. And maybe things would have turned out differently had you only done X, Y, and Z. Well, we can't rewind the tape, but at least you have your lessons and you can carry those lessons to your next relationship. Yeah, exactly, which brings us to how do people avoid making the same mistakes? Because what, what I keep seeing out there in the world is that people keep repeating. Actually, they keep getting involved with the same type of people that that didn't work at the f the first time the second time the third time <laughs> so how do how do people avoid that well there's serious work that needs to be done when a relationship ends if you really want to grab those lessons it's difficult it could be painful it could be a process where you explore to the very depths of your soul what you brought forward as far back as your childhood and some of your expectations. Um, let's just talk about abusive relationships. Let's talk about in the extreme case of physical abuse. If you were raised in an environment where there was physical abuse,